Welcome everyone and today I am playing Guild Wars 2. I hope you all watched the channel introduction because there I kind of explain uh, the setup of my channel. And this is my character and well just get back to the introduction. Uh, I think it's really good to watch the introduction because uh, then you know what I'm going to do. Basically it boils down to that I'm playing several MMOs. And I'm not recording everything that I play, but I just want to give you some kind of perspective on all these different MMOs. And maybe for people that are new to MMORPGs, they really like to see how all these games play out. And I also can point out the differences in the games. So for example, here we have Guild Wars 2. And the nice thing about Guild Wars 2 is we don't have... Um, a very uh, clear quest system. It's uh, basically about, uh, yeah, you have collecting some hearts, uh, doing some missions, and also the the combat is uh, more action oriented than if you compare it with the Elder Scrolls Online and the Final Fantasy XIV. However, the Black Desert Online features even more uh, active combat, so it's all. Uh, what you want. Let's see what were we doing. Uh, it's a time ago that I played this. Uh, I have some mail. Okay, I got uh, some gems. The trading company coins for pickup. Okay, I have some gems. Yeah, you can buy some in game uh, stuff. Basically, uh, what I did uh, is uh, I bought some extra inventory. So if you look at the inventory, uh, standard, you have much less inventory space. So that's what I upgraded because yeah, I watched some other YouTube videos and that was kind of advisable. Um, and this is... Um, I think this is my pet. Is it somewhere here? Oh yeah, there's my pet. So you can see my pet here. And I, I played it a while ago, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Uh, oh, wait. Um, okay, so the login reward, day 7. All available dailies. Gather raw materials by harvesting trees in the Shiver Peak mountain maps. Okay, so you have some daily missions here. And, okay. So, what I... Um, so, here you see my, my animal, my pet. But what I basically bought in this uh, gem store... I mean, this is by no means a pay-to-win game. That's what I have to point out. I'm also playing uh, Black Desert Online. That's really pay to win. But here the only things you probably want to buy from this uh, gem store is the, the unbreakable uh, tools. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I have this self, uh, this copper fat salvage omatic uh, because... Um, um, I think the thing is with all these things is I bought the unbreakable uh, you have some tools yeah I can't find them probably because I have I bought them oh there's an event so that's also something that can happen is that all of a sudden uh, what you can see over here uh, all kind of animals spawn you betwixt me you evil magpie you're not a dragon so yeah so that was a bit surprised i was all rambling up and then all of a sudden uh, something happened but uh, the thing is um, yeah, you have these events, but I was talking about my inventory. 
So let's go to my inventory. And oh, there's again a monster I have to fight. I think or not? No. Uh, pick up the bear. No. What the? What's going on here? Well, it's been a while that I played this. Um, so you have your hopper over here. You can better, of course, use your uh, use your hotkeys. It's using the mouse. You're not a dragon. And this is a hero challenge, so maybe some new animal and enemies will spawn. Defeat. Oh, there will new enemies will spawn. Oké, okay, um, I think the event is over because you can see that over there. Oh no, it's check the windmill hero challenge. Seven knocks back. Are there still some more coming? I don't know. But let's get back to my inventory. So the basic upgrades you need to buy with gems is that you have a bit more inventory space and also. Uh, I have the uh, Unbreakable Harvesting Sickle equipped. Uh, you can see that in the hero screen. So this is my character. And let's see. Uh, what am I wearing? My equipment. Um, equipment. So here you can see. I have an Unbreakable Mining Pick. An unbreakable harvesting sickle and oh yeah here you see them the unbreakable mining pick logging axe and harvesting sickle because uh, otherwise it breaks down very soon I heard so well you better uh, be prepared for it I always think so this is the map and uh, there's a lot to do in this game I think I'm being attacked. You betwixt me, you evil magpie! You're not a dragon! Um, pick up the garden. I don't need the garden hoe. Let's get away here because I don't. I mean, I picked up the hero point for what it's worth, and now I am going downstairs. I also think the graphics of this game are pretty nice. And. At the top right of the screen. For the Tamini. Oh. I think I'm being attacked. Oh. It's over there. I'm still being attacked. And we don't like to be attacked. Of course. Well, of course we like it. Because the combat is uh, pretty good. As I already said. I really like it. Let's destroy this. And I have to assist Labour Cardi and 
The Oyons Lumber Mill. Oh, oh, a great beer. A great beer is over here. All kind of beers. Wow. And what's also a thing in this game, you get more experience if you um, attack, for example, these uh, deers, if they aren't uh, attacked in a long time. So, basically, these um, bears aren't uh, dangerous, but if you uh, can attack them, it can be really advantageous. So. This area supplies a lot of the materials for Divinity's Reach and Beetleton alike. There are many threats to the workers, and any damage to them or their livelihoods could impact the entire region. We could use some help to keep things running smoothly. So, now I'm talking to a scout, and he's basically saying uh, where all the quest points are, so to speak. Um, and I think I'm going... Kill Skrit and Was, get a wooden plank, destroy Was and topple Skrit these shiny things. So that's in this direction. Okay, let's kill this deer. Of course, it's not very nice. I'm also a vegetarian, by the way, so this is really against all of my uh, my personal intentions. But this is just a game. So, um, the unique thing about this game also is that you can complete the quests in different ways. So, it says uh, kill script, bob, get a wooden plank, destroy was map, top of script, shiny things. So, you can basically do all kind of things uh, in order to help them out. So, it's not that uh, they say kill 10 uh, of these animals and then you're done. So that's also, uh, I've also tried World of Warcraft, but I couldn't really get into it. I've, yeah, it's just personal preference, of course. Uh, I'm not going to uh, harass uh, that game right now, because that's a bit, I mean, I can't see the joy in Greetings. it, but it's not, it's not for me. Oké, okay. zo so, on de map. Te doen some stuff hier. There's a merchant and a point of interest. Oké, okay. dit is een nearby event. Logging, stop de scriptief van log stealing login. Oké, okay. we're gonna fight again. So there's always something going on here, as you can see. I think I have to turn down the graphics a bit, maybe the recording uh, makes it a bit more intensive. Can I set it? Um, graphics, just, um, yeah, oh, okay, and the other uh, settings to, yeah, best appearance, environment, medium, lot distance, high. Character more, okay. FPS is 17, that's not very high. It still is laggy, it's very laggy. Options. But also the resolution is very high. I can't remember it that I said it that high. But never mind. Uh, rendering. Super sample, shadows, me shadows medium. Shaders, medium, post, low, character model level, high, high. Okay, so this should help a bit. Sorry for the lagging uh, display in the beginning. It's probably still lagging. I never really... Uh, thought it was lagging. Maybe it is 
taking over the settings. Uh, logging tools lost too. Could maybe be that it picks up the uh, settings from another system I'm also using, which has some better uh, graphics uh, cards. Because notably, I'm playing this on an iMac with Windows, of course, installed, but never in the end, it's an iMac. So you can game on an iMac, yes, indeed. Of course, you can ask the question why I have an iMac in the end if I game so much, and that's a very good question to ask. But, uh, okay. And what what do I have to do here? I don't know. So we have now the, this event with spawning uh, a lot of uh, um, I still need to turn something down. Um, SMA, FXAA, medium, uh, textures, medium. Character model limit, medium, quality, medium. That should help, shouldn't it? Oh, it looks awful. No, it's not awful, but it's not that great anymore. Let's put it that way. But I think it's going slower because there are a lot of... Uh, yeah, also the resolution is way too high, but I can't change that really right now because the recording will probably uh, get uh, the recording software is often a bit uh, the recording software is often not so happy with all these uh, resolution changes so let's keep it this way I'm uh, almost getting 30 fps and the console players often have to do it with 30 FPS in some games. I li uh, yeah, as I said, I really like this combat system. It's, uh, I think if you compare it uh, with the Final Fantasy, the Final Fantasy is more uh, slower paced. Also compared with Warcraft, uh, I mean World of Warcraft, it's, yeah, I like this more, but yeah, it's just uh, the graphics, uh, it's, it's of course also a matter of, uh, of taste. And what's this? Memories of home? Take 10% less damage, regen in the proof power, okay. As I said, I'm not an expert in these games, so... But If you're really new to MMOs, I really don't know what I would recommend, because... Um, uh, the Guild Wars 2 is on the one hand very low entry, because you have no subscription fee. But on the other hand, the questing system is a bit different, which can get some players lost. Because um, it's, you have much more freedom in what you do. And yeah, that doesn't hold your hand that much. So I can imagine that for some players that, that is not that uh, well suited. Um, the Black Desk Online, I, I, am I amazing? can't recommend for beginners at all. Because it's a bit play to win, pay to win system. Uh, and that's, I think... Beginners should stay away from that because they don't know what to buy, what not to buy. I even don't know it yet. So, you should stay away from that. Then you have the Elder Scrolls Online and Final Fantasy. The thing with Final Fantasy is the navigation can turn some people off. It's a bit difficult in the beginning. So, maybe the Elder Scrolls Online is the better one for beginners. The only thing with the Elder Scrolls Online is that you have to spend, yeah, you have to spend your skill points, uh, I mean your attribute points, which I found a bit difficult in the beginning, but but maybe the Elder Scrolls Online is the best one for beginners to start off with, maybe, or Guild Wars 2, if you don't uh, 
mind to the freedom. I think, but yeah, it's. I mean, I'm, I'm setting up this channel so that you can see all these games. Uh, so, in the end, it's a very personal thing. What you like. So, in the end, I can't decide uh, what you should play, of course. I mean, there are always topics, uh, people uh, say you should play this or that, but in the end, it's your choice. I can't make this choice for you and I'm just showcasing these games and maybe it will get, give you a better view on, uh, on it. Let's lower some more settings. Um, let's see. Anti-aliasing. No, I would like to have some anti Terran and sky reflections, shadows, medium pose, low, ambient occlusion. Maybe that is a good thing to get yeah, it increases it a bit. Character model low. Character model limit low. Textures low. Lot distance low. Environment low. Yeah, put everything to low. Why not? If I just choose best performance. Uh oh. Oh my god. Uh, I hope that then I get great FPS by the way. But whoa, this looks awful. So that's what you can, that's also a good thing to see. You know, uh, if you have very, uh, if you not have a very fast computer, then it looks kind of awful. So. Be prepared for that. Uh, I lower these to medium. Because, uh, uh, yeah, 30 FPS, some people like it, but I don't like it that much. Okay, I think this is, yeah, somewhat agreeable quality. But the main thing, of course, here is that my resolution is set to way too high. I'm going to uh, change that. Map completion is another way to explain it. Find all waypoints. And Vis doesn't complete and hero challenges to earn rewards. Okay, master. War oh, I have to attack this thingy over here. Masterwork. You can now equip masterwork gear. It's distinguished by screen text. Okay, I'm now level 14. Reward. And this is also better than what I currently equipped. Upcoming. Okay. Um, this is an... But where is my... Oh, that's my little bear. The wasp nest. Destroy and... I realize that I'm talking a lot this episode. If you find it too much, just let me know in the comments and then I will... Uh, then I will um, uh, then I will talk less. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. What's a heart? I want to thank you for your help in the Queen's Forest. Your reputation doesn't exaggerate your heroism and skill. All of us at the Lumber Mill, thank you for your time. Okay, great. Great. And I get a lot of coins. What are we going to do? So I like the freedom in this game, but uh, not everyone does. I think I should start less in the next upcoming episode. But of course, this is the first episode. And yeah, the, I just have a lot to say to introduce you. But uh, I guess that in the uh, next episodes, I will uh, talk uh, less, much less, I'm planning to. <laughs> because this is uh, a bit way too much talking. And I can't concentrate on the game that much. Forest bear. Oh, there's big animals here. Come <laughs> on. 
Note, uh, yeah, I'm starting talking again because uh, the thing is, uh, Guild Wars, you can also play it for free. So, but there are some limitations. I don't know them exactly uh, what they are. I don't know the exact limitations, but I don't like limitations, so I bought the expansion packs. Um, I recommend well, buying uh, one of the deluxe version because then you get some gem points and with these gems you can then buy the extra inventory space uh, you can buy um, Adrenaline rising. what you can buy is these unbreakable harvesting tools if you like crafting and building stuff then it's really advice to do, but that's really if you want to get into this game a lot. And as it is a free game, you can of course first try it out for free, and if you really like it, you can uh, put some money into it. But you don't have a subscription fee, so I mean, uh, in that sense, this is a very good game for starters, right? I mean, uh, I'm now just killing some monsters and. It's basically also that I just like killing uh, and fighting. It's really nice to do in this game. So I'm not really having a goal here at the moment. Here you can assist Hunter Block and the Hunting Lord. So I, that's a heart. That's, the hearts are some kind of quests, so to speak. So I can go there and uh, do that quest. But I think I'm going to end this episode soon. And you should see this more as an introductory chapter uh, episode. And I try to talk less in the next upcoming episodes unless I forgot something to tell you. Confirmation of how great I am. So let's end the let's end the episode here. And uh, I hope to see you in the upcoming episode. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.